Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub from DX Daily Podcast, and check this out. So Kendrick Lamar ended the five-year wait for a new album on Friday, May 13th, with the release of his eagerly anticipated fifth studio album, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. An 18-song double-disc effort, the project boasts guest appearances from Ghostface Killa, Kodak Black, Baby Keem, Blast, Summer Walker, Tana Leone, and Portishead's Beth Gibbons, among others. Behind the boards, frequent collaborators such as Soundwave, Pharrell, The Alchemist, Boy Wanda, supply the eclectic sounds. But it's Kendrick who steals the show, and not simply because of his lyrical talents. Across the album, the Compton native addresses Kanye West and Drake's reconciliation, Kyrie Irving's COVID-19 stance, and cancel culture. He also opens up about his lust addiction and infidelity, as well as transgender relatives and sexual abuse in the black community. While Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers opens yet another chapter in Kendrick's illustrious career, it also marks the end of an era in another sense, serving as the 34-year-old rapper's final release on Top Dog Entertainment, the label he's called home for well over a decade. As I produce my final TDE album, I feel joy to have been a part of such a cultural imprint after 17 years. He wrote on his OKLama.com website last August. The struggles, the success, and most importantly, the brotherhood, made the most high continue to use Top Dog as a vessel for candid creators. Given the anticipation leading up to its release, it's no surprise that Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers became one of the hottest topics on social media on Friday, with fans and artists alike flooding the internet with their reactions to Kendrick Lamar's latest long-awaited effort. From current rap stars such as Lil Durk, Tyler the Creator, and Kodak Black, who make several appearances on the album, to OGs such as Lupe Fiasco, Quest Love, and Jay-Z's engine near Young Guru, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers had the internet going nuts, which is nothing new for King Kendrick. Kendrick just made it scary. When he said, first time I effed a white, I was 16 in the Palisades, exactly. Reporting from Hawaii, exceptional work Mr. Lamar. Shout out to Kendrick Lamar and co. Congrats on the new album, last one on TDE, we made history, much love and continued success. But be sure to check out some more artist reactions to the album. And let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast on all streaming platforms. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com.